hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you are all having a great week and a great weekend good afternoon where we are in the afternoon good morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the world big world wide world yeah <laughs> hope you're all having a great day being at home being safe at home okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i make my jollof rice my nigeria jollof rice in my own way okay guys stay tuned and i will introduce you guys to the um ingredients all right guys okay guys before we start in case you hear any noise my washing machine is on because i'm doing some laundry at the same time okay so these are my ingredients i'm going to be using so we've got some um pepper here um i don't know we call this pepper tatashe um long pepper it's like bell pepper the long one and in this bowl here i have um ginger and garlic frozen but it's pure ginger and garlic i have three plum tin tomatoes here I normally use tin tomatoes for my jello fries and we got the um, Costco organic tomato paste I have three red onion here I got my basmatic golden satara rice here I got my sunflower oil over there I got some baileys I got some chicken and kib I don't think I'm not going to be using the whole of that but I just put it there I got some chili pepper, some paprika. Okay, guys. So these are my ingredients that I'm going to be using for my jollof rice. All right, guys. Okay, let's um, get cooking. Okay, guys. So the first thing I do first is I put hot water into my rice. I normally put hot water into the rice first. So I wash the rice out first with hot water and I washed like about two or three times Water is very hot. So after I've washed like three times, I'm going to put hot water and leave it while I prepare the other ingredients like the pepper, the onion. Yeah, I'm going to be blending all this excluding one i'm going to be using one for um tomatoes too i'm only going to be using two of these i'm not going to be chopping it into the rice because the kids doesn't like the onion in the rice so i'm going to be blending it with the pepper and the tomatoes together so what i'll do with my rice is i put hot water and i leave it to sit i'll probably leave it to sit for like about five between five ten minutes not for a very long time. A 
it's not going to be exact 10 minutes so that's the rice and the water it's hot water the water is very hot so i leave it to sit for like about five to ten minutes but not exactly 10 minutes okay because i don't want it to be like as if it's too what this does it actually make the rice like pre-cook the rice it's like as if it i pre-cook the rice when i do it that way but it's not really cooked when you break it it stay hard but i don't want it to be too soak to soak too much of the water so i'll take the water out when it's like five to ten minutes i'm actually looking at the time all right guys so let's uh, blend the onion and the pepper and the tomatoes together all right guys okay guys so i've already uh, prepared my pepper and onion in there i've opened the thin tomato already so i'm going to be blending them now i forgot to eat introduce you guys to this seasoning as well or shall i say i forgot to show you guys this seasoning so i'm going to be using that as well seasoning oil and garam masala and some curry powder yeah so i'm going to be using those as well so i'm just going to blend the pepper the onion and the tomato the machine is going to be making some sand so Maybe I should blend it finish and come back because of the noise of the machine. It makes quite a loud noise. Um, yeah, let me blend this, I'll come back. Okay guys, you see how very loud <laughs> it is that's why i do want to um do a blend it while i am talking to you guys okay yeah that's how loud that machine is it's very loud okay guys so the next thing i'm going to do let's bring the camera this way I'm trying to look for a good angle to put it so that when i'm cooking you can see everything okay so i'm still going to blend it a little bit more because i want to try and blend the seed of the tomato um a bit so i'm still going to blend it a bit i've already put my pot in there it's quite hot already um i'm going to add my sunflower oil to the pan to the pot pan So you just had the quantity you think to be enough for your rice okay guys so the oil at the moment so the low heat i'm going to take you guys to the rice i need to wash the rice now and take it out of the water let me leave the camera up a bit yeah so i need to take the water out of the rice so i'll take you guys to my sink and we'll wash the rice together okay guys just stay tuned okay so here's my rice um let me move this bit back yeah so that's my rice there you can see it's quite a lot of quantity yeah um, because there's a lot of people that's going to be eating it so the rice is sitting on the water now for uh 10 minutes already a little more than 10 minutes so you can see that it's still hard i'm not sure if you can really sit on the camera but anyway it's still a bit hard so i'm going to drain the water out now and then just use hot water to wash it again i got my sieve here so i'm pouring it in my sieve Because I've already washed it 
three times already before. The water is not cloudy anymore as such. So practically you can see that the water is not as you can see that it's quite clean from the bowl because I've already washed it three times and then I'm just washing it just one more time and running the water on it. So that has gotten rid of some of the starch in the rice. So let's say in total I've washed the rice about four times and then I run hot water on it for like um, less than two minutes. Yeah, so the rice is clean now. So that's the rice guys, so it's clean now. I just leave it to sit here while the water drains out as you can see I don't know if you can see it properly but it's not cooked okay guys so that's the rice washed and clean if I can lift this thing up yeah so that's the rice washed and clean so I'm going to start making the jello fries okay guys so stay tuned and if you've watched this part of this video and you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe it's free to subscribe so you can see more videos and like this video please if you enjoy watching it thank you okay guys so the oil is heated up now I'm using a low heat because I don't want it to get burnt too fast so I'm cooking it on a low heat so the first thing I'm going to do is put some salt this is how I normally start my cooking everybody were different with their own method I normally start with some salt Because I'm cooking on a low heat, the oil doesn't have, it's not overheated. I'm going to add my tomato paste. So I'm using the whole of the tomato paste. I want to bring the camera closer so you guys can see inside of the pot if possible. typical African woman I've added water <laughs> to the tin because I want to get all the tomato puree out <laughs> oh my goodness hope you guys can see inside the pot so I'm still cooking this on the low heat yes I'm not adding onion I've already added the onion to the blended one because the children doesn't like to see the onions, I don't know why. So anyway, so I've had that. So what I'm going to do now is add all, all my spices. I like using a lot of spices when I'm cooking. It just had flavor, more flavor to the food. So the spices you just had to your taste if you want to add them. I like adding them to my food, so. Okay. I'm going to be putting this one next. This video is not sponsored by them. That is just what I use. I'm still cooking on the low heat. I don't measure it. I just put it, eyeball it. Some curry powder. I just eyeball it, I don't, some people might say don't put curry powder in jello fries where well, that's, everybody's have their own way. Some paprika, somebody might say don't put paprika, but <laughs> I like to just put it.
So I'm still cooking on a low heat. I've increased the heat a little bit now. Yeah, so I'm going to add the blended one now. I'm going to rinse it out with a bit of water. But before then, let me put this one in. I've tried. African woman way of cooking. Everything has to be out of the spoon and the thing. Nothing got to waste. I'm just resting the blender. It smells good in here already. So I'm going to be adding some chili pepper. Now, if you don't like chili pepper, please don't put it. You can just cook it without putting pepper. If you don't like pepper so I'm going to be adding some pepper I'm going to be adding my bay leaf I'm going to add two I want to wash it first if I add it to it Okay, so I'm going to be adding my chicken non cube. I'm going to be adding my chicken non cube. I think I'm going to add a little bit of more salt because the rice I'm cooking is quite a lot of rice. So I'm going to add a bit more salt later on. Okay guys, so I'm using three non kill because I'm cooking a lot of rice just so it has more taste. So I've decided to use three of the non kill. Well, not exact three, the other one wasn't three, the other one's just one. So it's like two and a half, two and one half of this one. There's two inside. So this is one pack, another pack of this one. So that's two. And then I'm going to be adding my ginger and garlic paste. It's frozen, that's why it's in cubes. See, it's already melting. I like using ginger and garlic to cook. I just love the taste of it. So I'm adding it to it. Okay guys, so I'm going to stir. Everybody have different method of cooking jello rice. This is my own method of cooking my this is not how I was taught how to cook it back home in Nigeria, but I just created my own method which I like. Because back home we don't use some of these ingredients back home in Nigeria, we don't use some of these. So I introduced my own spices to it. And I like it. So what I do is I taste it for salt. If I feel it need more salt, then I add a little bit more salt. Because it's quite a lot of rice, so I need to add more salt. Stay it. So at this point, I need to cover it and let it cook for like let's say between three to five minutes just to boil and then afterwards i'll come ahead the rice so i'm going to cover it 
Okay, cover it. Okay, guys, so that is it. So cover it, move the camera back a bit. Cover it and let it simmer. Once it starts to simmer, then I'm going to add the rice. I'll show you guys. Okay, guys, so it's simmering now. So I'm going to just stir it first, blow the heat a bit because I don't want it to be splashing. Okay. So now I'm going to add the rice to it. I see the rice is quite a lot of rice. See the way it's splashing, it's what I'm trying to avoid. Just going to clean this mess out a little bit. So I'm cooking it on a low heat. If you are someone that uses electric cooker, I put it on number three. I don't know what market is on gas cooker. I'm using electric cooker. So I'm stirring it so that it can all mix well together. Okay, so it's mixed way well now, so I'm going to cover it. I'm going to use the foil paper to cover it. Cover it tight. Flip the square paper up like that. You need to come back to it in five minutes. Stay it just to stop the bottom from getting too burnt. Okay, so you come back in five minutes, stay it, cover it, um, leave it again maybe for like another 20 minutes. Make sure it's on a low heat, if not, it's going to get burnt so badly. So, come back five minutes, stay it just to check the bottom that it's not burning too much. Cover it again, make sure it's on a low heat. Leave it for like another 20 minutes, check on it. And after 20 minutes, check to see if the liquid has dried and if it looks cooked to your taste. If it look, cooks enough, then cover it back, leave it for another five minutes and take it off the cooker. But if it's not cooked to your taste, then leave it on a very low heat for a further... 10 minutes it's the steam we cook it okay guys so i'll come back and show you guys how it looks like maybe in five minutes time or in 20 minutes time if i didn't remember if i forget to show you the five minutes one i'll show you the 20 minutes one okay guys okay guys let's check our rice 
ignore that pot i want to make um tomato sauce too let's check our rice and see what is happening in there um actually it's been more than five minutes i didn't check it so this is like 10 minutes later this is how it's looking 10 minutes later so we are going to stir it remember i'm cooking it on a low heat even though i'm cooking it on a low heat it still gets burnt jollof rice always get burnt no matter how you try so hard for it not to burn it always get burnt i don't know why okay well some people might say yes doesn't get burnt but since i have been growing up i know jollof rice always get burnt even my mom when she cook it, it get burnt so i don't know some people oh might not get burnt but mine does okay guys so i'm going to stay it now this is some um, 10 minutes as i say after um what i didn't open it in five minutes so i'm just going to stay it and then cover it and then i'm going to now leave it for like probably about 25 minutes to 30 minutes because i'm cooking it on a low heat just to avoid it from getting really too badly burnt at least the burnt is not too bad so far but you can see some burnt is there anyway this is all part of cooking yeah guys so i'm going to take out the bay leaves now bay leaf or how do they call it i don't know bay leaf bay leaf bay leaf <sighs> anyway taking it out so right now As I say, jollof rice always get burnt. So, anybody that said that jollof rice doesn't get burnt, I don't know how they do it. Seriously, I don't know how they do it. But mine always get burnt at the bottom. Even though I always try to cook it on a very low heat. But it still get burnt. I don't know why. <sighs> so, I'm going to cover it now and leave it for like between 20 to 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Because the heat is going to steam cook it. Okay, guys. So I'm going to leave it until it's cooked. Okay. Let me bring my face here so you guys can see my face. Okay, guys. Because I have another soup to make. So I'm going to leave the jollof rice to cook for a further 20 to 25 minutes, maximum 30 minutes. If I forget, because I'm cooking another soup, but I'm cooking it on a low heat. And I'll show you guys when it's cooked. Because I'm not going to be stirring it anymore. I'm just going to leave it to steam cook on the low heat like that. Yeah, so when it's cooked, I'll show you guys my jollof rice, how it looks like. Okay, guys. So I'll catch you guys when I finish cooking my other soup. I'm making tomatoes based too. Yeah, so I'll catch you guys when I finish making that soup. And show you guys uh, the finished look of the jollof rice. Alright guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video if you haven't liked it already. Like it and check out my website guys. Okay, stay tuned and I'll show you the finished um, look of the food. Okay guys, thanks. Okay guys, okay, so our uh, jollof rice I think is ready. Yeah, can you see that? Can you see that? It's well cooked. See? Can you guys see? You can give it one final stir. Don't know if I'm even pronouncing the word right. But anyhow, I'm not an English woman. <laughs> I'm an African woman. Yeah, guys. So you can see my jollof rice. Ooh smells divine smells good it looks cook okay i'm going to be dishing some in a bowl so you guys can see can you see my jello fries it's ready yeah okay guys remember i said i was making a stew yeah so my jollof rice is cooked. I'm going to actually take some. Okay. I take some and show you guys. 
Ya. So what I do now, I just off the cooker on this section. Let's do a taste together. Oops. Let's put the camera here. <laughs> Let's taste it together. That's my jello fries. See how very yummy it is. Oops. <laughs> I was trying to take a thumbnail, guys. Anyway. That's my jello fries. I was trying to take a thumbnail. Yeah. So let's taste it. It's hot, 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 hot. Very hot. Mmm. That's nice. I know when food is nice, you always dance to it. Mmm. Mmm. And it's cooked very well. See that? It's not sticky. Can you see it's not sticky? Because I cook it on a low heat. So it doesn't stick like as if it's sticky rice. No. Stand out. And it's very, very yummy. Mm. I don't normally cook and eat at the same time. It's quite difficult for me to cook and eat at the same time. Most of the time I cook the food, leave it <laughs> maybe for some hours before I come and eat. But because I have to taste it for you guys. Yeah. Maybe I should put some in your mouth. Ah! Mm. <laughs> okay guys, thanks for watching. Let me, let me eat this first. Mwah. It's yummy. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. You can follow this recipe. Try a different jollof rice recipe. Does it have to be yours every time? Try mine and see if it tastes different from yours. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Love you all. I'll show you all in my next video. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.